All right, so this is a tutorial for Mr. Cactus Strange over on uh, Reddit. He wants a customized stinger for his uh, gaming content, I guess. So he has this nice little 8-bit cactus right here uh, that you want to create a cool little stinger out of. Um, so first off, I drag it into my timeline and then I'll uh, just duplicate it so I get a little bit more of uh, room here. So now it's uh, two and a half second-ish instead of the one second it was before so that's uh, cool then I uh, just uh, select both of these clips I hold down alt and the up arrow to put it to a new video track go to my generators solid color drag that down and then I uh, pull it in so it's the same length as both those clips uh, I uh, go up here in the color and do pick screen color and pick the color of the background of the cactus and for some reason um, DaVinci Resolve has this weird issue that it adds these black bars if the zoom is set to 1. So instead, we'll set the zoom to 0 0.99. And we'll do the same for the other clips, 0 0.99. So now it's all nice and good right here. Then we'll just uh, uh, select all, right click, new compound clip, call this compound clip. There we go, pull up Fusion, because Fusion is the way to go for this kind of stuff. Great, so now we have our media in node, which is the cactus, just uh, doing its cactus things, and we're gonna create a rectangle. Great, now let's hold down control and scroll on the mouse wheel to go a little back so we can see more of our canvas here. And let's make this thing bigger. Uh, also, let's find the uh, angle here and set that to minus 45, so it has a 45% angle, and then just pull this out, like so. Great, so far so good. Now we need to pull it up as well, so it fills the entire screen right there. Great, we're halfway done. Now... Let's uh, click this animation button for the center and let's pull this thing all the way down so it's just at the edge of the canvas area as you can see here. Then we go about to the end of our 2 second 60 frames whatever and let's just pull it all the way up so the goes over like so. So now you can see it goes over pretty nice over the entire screen and that's good however this is a little slow it's a little linear so now we're gonna do some advanced stuff pull up a spline click that stuff right there so you can see your spline and now let's uh, take these um, handles right here and just drag it down a bit so now it goes like slower in the beginning then it speeds up so we can do this a little bit so now it goes ooh, that's nice and we'll do the same for this thing so it kind of slows down at the end maybe um drag it a little bit more like this so it goes woof and i feel like this is a little bit too long so let's pull this in a bit so now you can see the keyframe move from over here to over here and let's uh, look at this thing again now. Woof. Pretty nice. I wanted to kind of slow down even more right here and go a little bit faster in the beginning, perhaps. I, mean, I can just pull this up and it'll go pretty fast in the beginning. Whoa. That's kind of stupid. So let's just keep trying this out. And there we go. That's pretty nice. Now let's just make sure that we have uh, at least one place in the video where it covers the entire thing. It doesn't. You need your stinger to have, uh, cover the entire screen at one point. So this is the closest, so let's just pull the handles a little bit until we have a position where it covers the entire thing. It does right now. And there we go. It zooms across. And now we don't really need the rest of this time over here, so we'll just bring in the uh, end point to our 48 second mark so since i'm doing a 24p um, timeline it's 24 frames per second and that's good so now we have 
this. And that's basically your stinger. Now you can export this with the transparency and use it, but uh, just for fun. Let's see if this actually works as my stinger. So uh, I'm gonna bring up this. Um, copy my stinger here, my compound fusion clippy thing. Uh, bring it over in this gaming montage. Let's find the place where it actually covers the entire screen, which is right there. And let's put that right there. And but, you, bro. there we go. I have a working stinger. And we can just do the same again. Find the spot where it covers the entire screen. Bring it over here. And... Teamwork. Yeah. There we go. So if you want to use this for like OBS or something, you need to export it with transparency. And also, uh, it's a little bit too long here too. So let's just find out where it ends, which is right there. So let's just bring this in so it's not too long. And let's export it with some transparency, yeah? Okay, go to the deliver page, can figure out how to export this with an alpha channel because you want transparency and transparency in video language is alpha. Weird. So what you want to do is uh, go to your custom uh, profile thing, select format as QuickTime, codec you want to be GoPro Cineform, type RGB 16 bit and then you need to click individual clips because now you get the export alpha button, which is not there for single clip which is very, very weird. Anyway, export alpha, alpha mode straight. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, let's call this a, a stinger. Uh, select where to place it, short Reddit videos, that's fine. Add to render queue and start render. And there you go. Now you have a stinger, you can import this into OBS or Streamlabs or whatever you're using. It's great, it works. Uh, you might want to convert it to WebM, uh, if you want like a, even smaller sizes and stuff like that, but uh, I mean, it's not really that big anyway. So there you go. Now you know how to make a cactus uh, stinger thing.